Happy Easter! I'm Irene Kerbin and this is the Filipino Edition live on Red FM 93.1. Magandang magandang umaga! It's March 27. I hope you're enjoying the long weekend. But today on the program, we'll focus our discussion on empowering multicultural and immigrant women in Vancouver. The Multicultural Women's Conference and Fair is happening on Thursday, March 31st at the Croatian Cultural Center in Vancouver. And one of the panelists in this event is our very own Kababayan and community leader, Narima de la Cruz. So she'll tell us all the details for this free event and why it's a must for immigrant women to check out this fair. And I should mention that this Multicultural Women's Conference and Fair is an initiative by the Canadian Immigrant Magazine. So yan po ang pag-uusapan natin ngayong linggo. At syempre, hindi po kumpleto ang ating programa kung walang OPM, Original Pinoy Music. Kaya samahan niyo po ako sa loob ng isang oras dito lang sa The Filipino Edition, our program, our voice, our views, live on Red FM 93.1. First at the Croatian Cultural Center in Vancouver. And one of the panelists in this event is our very own Kababaya, Narima de la Cruz. She is the founding director of the Suri Philippine Independence Day Society, now on its eighth year and the organization behind the celebration of the Philippine Independence Day in Surrey. She is also a licensed realtor by profession, currently affiliated with the Real Estate Board of Greater Vancouver and Madsen Realty Corporation. Narima de la Cruz is also a recipient of the Top 25 Canadian Immigrants Award in 2012, the first Filipino-Canadian in BC, and first Filipino woman in Canada to have received this award. Narima has also received various recognitions for community leadership and for her profession as a realtor, and she is a proud Filipino-Canadian and mother of two, Daryl and Glisha, and she is on the line with us. Good morning, Narima, and thank you for being on the program today. Hi, Irene. Good morning. Magandang umaga sa lahat ng mga nakikinig sa atin. Magandang malamig umaga. Malamig na umaga. I know, malamig at medyo madilim-dilim pa ulit. I was expecting na medyo maliwanag na kasi parang spring is around the corner na. Pero right. parang, parang hindi pa rin today. Anyway, so this event, Multicultural Women's Fair, Women's Conference and Fair, is such a great event, especially because it's tailored to immigrant women. Yes. Tell us what's happening at this event. The entire event actually touches on a lot of things, from career success, to parenting, to uh, health, to small business, to community involvement. Halos lahat ng pwedeng uh, talakayin para sa pang-araw-araw na buhay o sa mga darating pang-araw uh, na sumisentro sa kababaihan. So it's uh, really tailored for women and the challenges that we face specifically yung mga immigrant women but you don't have to be a newcomer to go to this event right you can be you can be here for so many years but if you're also looking for some inspiration or looking for work maybe diba mm -mm, mm -mm. uh it's actually open to all sa gaya ng nasabi mo hindi nga lang sa mga uh, bagong dating o o ilang taon pa lang dito pero kahit yung mga matatagal nang nandito na uh, nangangailangan pa rin ng uh, guidance or assistance sa, uh, let's say, sa kanilang career or gusto nilang maging self-employed at uh, it is also networking for uh, women of um, all ages and uh, like-minded women right. who so, wants to have that, uh, you know, that, the drive and the motivation. So, merong mga motivational speakers for career success, personal empowerment, sabi mo nga, at meron ding mga trade show of exhibitors. Sino-sino naman ang makikita sa mga, um, sa mga mag exhibit na to? The trade show, Irene, actually comes from different sectors as, as um, how I was informed. Uh, merong from employment, from uh, social services, from government, and also from non-profit organizations. So, handun, nandun na lahat halos. Right. So, marami silang pamimilian from the exhibitors aside, of course, from the uh, speakers. And then, meron ding tinatawag na clinics or expert clinics na 
um, sila naman yung tatalakay doon sa mga uh, parang practical na, na aspeto. Like, if you want to be guided on writing a resume, uh, Better resume or, for interview, so, uh, for employment, yeah. Uh, even for small business. Yes, right. Meron ding little bit of uh, fun doon, uh, Irene. Meron ding Zumba at meron ding mini session ng yoga. So, oh, tingnan mo all, ngayon. Yes, lahat talaga. Parang it's all in one for women. So para din sa mga multicultural women na naghahanap ng work, wala man kayong mahanap na trabaho doon. Pero bring your resume, pwede nyo sigurong ipakita to somebody from the resume clinic para pwede nila kayong matulungan for tips on how to improve your resume. Right, Irene. And also, I was told that may mga ibang exhibitor na uh, on the spot, they will uh, accept resume for employment. So, mm -hmm. for those looking for job, it's also a great opportunity. That's right. And ikaw naman, Narima, so you will be in the Q&A session. Tell us about this. The Q&A panel, uh, the dialogue, it will happen at the end part of the conference. So, there will be uh, speakers, three speakers. And um, after that will be the Q&A panel and dialogue. Uh, I will be with, uh, I believe, four other um, speakers. And this is a chance for the attendees to ask questions which uh, aim to guide um, women on how to succeed in Canada. Oh. So opinion for everyone, they can uh, put uh, their questions, give their questions. It will be moderated by the MC mm -hmm. for the day, which is uh, um, Tanya so or Danya, Danya Tosi. So parang ito yung um, uh, opportunity for you guys as panelists to share your experience kung, or, or give some guidance or advice to multicultural women on how to have a successful life in Canada, tama? Exactly. It's like parang um, on-the-spot mentorship, sharing of our experiences and also the, uh, the strategies that we did and uh, intend to be doing to uh, succeed in Canada. Uh -huh. And Narima, so this is happening on Thursday. Uh, what time is the event? The event will be from 10 in the morning until 4 in the afternoon. So um, everyone is encouraged and invited to come. Um, they can stay for the day or they can come for an hour or two. It's really up to them. And also, Irene, I would like to mention that uh, if we have mga kababayan or kahit, uh, from outside our community, na those who have children, young children, and they don't have uh, child care, uh, they are still welcome to attend. They, uh, feel free to bring your small children because there will be a children activity area for them to enjoy with their child. That's really helpful kasi yung iba sa ating mga parents, no, uh, walang mapag-iiwanan kasi syempre wala sila sa bahay, may pupuntahan. So that's really helpful talagang making it accessible to our mm -hmm. To everybody, especially to women who are looking after the kids or parents who, who don't have daycare options. Right. And best of all, this is free admission, Irene. So, wala po itong bayad. Uh, it's a free admission. And uh, the attendees are also uh, welcome to bring their own snacks. There will be uh, um, water and refreshments for purchase of the nominal fee because this is free. There will be no uh, complimentary refreshments for attendees, but they are free to bring their own snacks to enjoy. Okay. So 10 to 4, and this is happening at the Croatian Cultural Center in Vancouver. Now, Narima, yes. let's talk about you, Naman, since you will be one of the panelists. What topics will you be focusing on? When I was invited, I was invited as a community leader. Um, I would like to cover questions that uh, touch on how to get involved in the community while still engaging in full-time work or business, or how to overcome isolation by getting involved in communities. You know, yung parang um, kahit nagtatrabaho tayo or yung mga kababaihan na, na nanay o housewife na may mga duty sa ating uh, tahanan, ay nagkakaroon pa rin or kahit uh, kailangan pa rin magkaroon ng pagkakataon na 
na makipag-socialize. Maging involved. Yeah, yeah. yeah maging involved, uh, makiisa. Para, dahil makakatulong din yun sa atin. Para, hindi lamang para magkaroon ng mga kaibigan, nakakilala, o network, kung hindi para sa ating uh, pang sariling um, confidence, nagkakaroon ng confidence, especially sa, sa women. So, I would like to believe that I will cover questions that touch on those uh, uh, topics. And especially, napaka-common yan para sa mga newcomers. Hindi lang for women, for everybody. Na pagdating dito, sure, oh, nakahanap ko nga ng trabaho and all that. But then you just feel so isolated. Parang, parang you just feel so different from everybody dahil nga nasa foreign country ka. So, talagang parang mm -hmm. kailangan mong uh, lumabas doon and reach out. Because if you expect to just happen to you, it's not gonna happen if you just stay inside or go to work. You need to reach out. To exactly. your community, diba? Um, exactly. Ikaw naman, Narima, so you've been here in Canada 18 years, tama? Yes. Tell us, so how did you start? Oh, that's a long story. <laughs> <laughs> but to make it short, okay. Uh, well, we only have one hour, so. Right. <laughs> I landed here uh, with my husband, and we have a three-year-old son by that time. We were independent immigrants, meaning... Uh, hindi kami sponsored by anyone. We applied um, and passed the um, immigration qualification, yung pinatawag na point system. Yes. Uh, it has its downside, of course, because uh, wala kami kamag-anak. Meron, pero malalayong kamag-anak. Wala talagang direct on kakilala. So basically, kayo so, lang talaga, kayong dalawa at saka yung two-year-old. Right. So nung nag-umpisa kami, hindi rin lahat uh, madali. Uh, siyempre dahil especially meron kaming dalawang taong anak so um, uh, I started uh, being a full-time housewife and, uh, and a mom which is um, a direct contrast to what I was in the Philippines um, but then I, I sacrificed and um, and then eventually I had another I have another uh, child which is Grisha mm -hmm. and after the formative years of my my Kids, nasa school na, then I decided uh, to uh, go back to the workforce and I became a realtor, but I did not stop from there. So that's when I started to be involved with the community. And uh, I believe with your introduction, <laughs> the history um, is already stated. So, um, bali ganun lahat nag-umpisa yung so, ilang years, involved ko sa community. So ilang years ka nag-stay at home, Narima? Hindi naman talagang stay at home yun na completely, Irene. Kahit pa paano, tumutulong ako sa husband ko. Okay. I, uh, I did some part-time job. Um, yung alternate kami. Okay, I, I, I made sure na alternate yung schedule namin. And which is a good uh, um, advice I could give to newcomers na couple na may mga anak. Yung talagang kakayanin mo mag-sacrifice na alam mo kulang ka sa tulog. Pero at least, uh, each of you get to take care of your, your children alternately. Exactly. So that, bali yung mga ilang taon din yun, siguro, I'd say, uh, there was two years bago ako nagkaroon ng, ng second child, plus the five years bago siya na kinder. So I'd say seven years na hindi ako talaga full-time nag-work. Right. And I can relate to you, Narima, kasi pagka maliit talaga yung bata, mahirap talaga silang iwanan completely. Um, mm -mm. I mean, it's great for some people na, you know, they are able to do that, pero right. some people just don't have that ability or just don't have the support it, from the yeah, family. Yeah, and also diba? the, uh, parang yung the courage to do that. <laughs> uh -oh. So, Narima, in... Um, from what you remember, what were some of the most challenging um, circumstances have you encountered? Aside from um, being homesick, which is the, the usual, diba? Pag bagong dating ka sa isang surrounding, and then ibang iba siya sa pinanggalingan mo, like your weather. Um, challenges. I'd say I have my share of um, discrimination. Meron din tayong ganyan kasi uh, I think it's it's uh, a common occurrence, uh, unfortunately. Uh, kapag nanirahan ka sa isang uh, immigrant base na, na bansa. Uh, and then, of course, yung, yung challenge ng, ng pagiging isang may bahay, nanay, nagtatrabaho, tapos involved ka sa community, yung 
sobrang stress nung pagsamasamahin mo yung lahat ng yun. So that's the, the greatest challenges talaga na masasabi kong na-encounter ko. Na-encounter ko noon and after this time I still encounter that kapag yung nag, how, how do you call that? Kapag nag sasama-sama yung lahat ng yun and then parang ang hirap mong i- i-balance lahat. Talaga, I don't even imagine how you did it. Kasi um, looking after children is already a full-time job. Plus, meron ka exactly. pang community involvement. Plus, meron ka pang jobs to go to, di ba? Mm-hmm. jumbo mm-hmm. activities. <laughs> right, yeah. But, so, talagang ano lang, kailangan lang magsakripisyo, work hard, um... And, and also, kung meron ka talagang uh, focus at saka determination to do that, uh, kakayani naman. Hindi naman natin kailangan maging perfecto o matalinong matalino. Lahat actually ng tao pwedeng uh, gawin yon sa kanilang sarili kung meron talaga silang determination to do what they wanted to do in life. And Nirima, if there was one thing that you would say you did that really made a difference and help you achieve what you have now, what would that be? The one thing that you did that really made a difference in your life as an immigrant? Uh, Is it going back to school again? Um, uh, getting some training? Um, a change in career? Um, I am a little bit of the those that you mentioned, uh, Irene, it's a combination of all those, but overall, um, I'd say ang pinaka ang pinaka nakatulong sa akin uh, to get to um, where you are now, where I am now, is that I uh, I stick to to my principles in life. I tried my best to maintain my credibility as a person. I think credibility, mahalaga kasi yan sa tao. Um, hindi naman necessarily dahil bilang isang uh, leader sa community, kundi bilang kahit bilang isang ordinaryong tao uh, for us to, to always um, um you know, uh, serve by example. Okay. I'd say that. Kasi a- ako kahit sa, sa sarili ko, I, I feel that with my children. So doon, nararamdaman ko that I, I did something right in my life. All right. Narima, thank you so much for sharing your story and for joining me on the program this morning. It's always a pleasure, uh, Irene. Maraming salamat. And thank you for uh, giving me the opportunity to invite everyone to this um, confidence in fair, which I believe will help a lot of uh, women. Yes, thank you so much, Narima. Again, Multicultural Women's Conference and Fair happening this coming Thursday, March 31st at the Croatian Cultural Center in Vancouver, and that's from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. And you don't have to be there all day. You don't have to be there for the whole time. You can be there in the beginning or just for a couple of hours. So um, it's up to you how you want to uh, participate in this conference and fair. And Narima de la Cruz, a community leader and realtor, a recipient of the Top 25 Canadian Immigrants Award in 2012 and the first Filipino-Canadian in BC and first Filipino woman in Canada to have received this award. Again, maraming maraming salamat, Narima, for being on the program this morning. And I want to share this song with everyone. Here's Angela Aki, Every Woman's Song.